Okay, another important question related to the supply chain is the drivers of supply chain. So before we start this question, what are the drivers or a driver? A driver is something that causes someone or something to move by driving. So before we go to the factors or the drivers, we need to understand the supply chain. Now, supply chain can be bigger than this chain or can be smaller than this chain, but usually it starts from a farmer and things reach from a farmer to a supplier, then to a manufacturer, then to a wholesaler, retailer, and then eventually a consumer. So consider that, that, that this is a supply chain. Now, the concept of the drivers of supply chain is that what are those factors or those things that derive the things from here to this consumer? So what are all those factors which help companies or organizations or manufacturers to move things from one end to the other end? And when they do it, obviously they do it with a very well coordinated uh, activities. But again, what are the things that take, uh, that move things from this end to this end? So let's move to our factors or the drivers of supply chain. Now, these are the drivers of supply chain. Starting from production is one thing, inventory to location, transportation, and then the information. Now, why information is central to all of these uh, drivers is because for production, you need information, for inventory, you need information, for location, you need information, and then for transportation, you need information. What is information? It is the basis for making these decisions. So it is central to all these four other drivers. So once you have the information, then what you can do is you can look at your production for, for a manufacturer, for a supplier, or for any other organization, especially for the manufacturer, these questions are very important. So production is the first driver. What to produce? Now this will uh, give you this, the idea that what you can sell in the market. Again, if you will have some information, then you will be able to make a decision what to produce. Then if you're successful in deciding what to produce, you should also have a very good idea about how to produce this. How to produce uh, the goods or the services that you are trying to produce will give you a comparative advantage from the other organizations. For example, if you have better machines, if you have better processes, if you have uh, a better transformation uh, system, then obviously you'll be able to answer these questions that how to produce those uh, goods or services. And then another important question in production is when to produce. So if you can answer these three things, what to produce, what products and services are uh, you should be producing that are sellable in the market, and then how to produce is the process, and when to produce is also very important because uh, if you see some of the products are seasonal, for example, if we talk about Pepsi and Coke, in summer season, their sales go up. In winter seasons, their sales go down. So when to produce is, uh, these things and when, to not, when not to produce these things is important. So when you answer these three things, what, how, and when to produce goods or services, actually this is going to move your supply chain in a smooth manner. Now, the second is the inventory. Obviously, we have produced something, but do we know how much and 
how much to make and how much to stock these are another important questions and important drivers for example if you have um, made something and you do not have enough space to stock uh, those things then you will be in trouble so you will have to see and take guidance from your production process and your production process will take uh, information and obviously advantage from the inventory process if you have big warehouses then you can produce any number of goods but if you do not have warehouses then you will have problem so how much to make and how much to stock for example uh, why do you stock things because there are there can be some problem with the production sometime so you have enough things in stock if order comes you will be able to give them this uh, product or a service so the second driver is the inventory management or the inventory which answers your questions how much to make and how much to stock then we go to the third very important element or the driver of location now location of the production area location of the warehouses and location of the uh, maybe your customers for example if we talk about walmart they have a very good location of their warehouses they have a warehouse in the center and all of their retail stores are around that warehouse and within 24 hours this warehouse is capable of providing anything to any of these stores and then if if you take the example of uh, the cement industry for example if the cement industry is placed somewhere where they can find the raw material of this cement very near it is going to lead to a very low cost production but for example if uh, the raw material is here and the company is here and your uh, construction sites are here so that means you're going to have a lot of problem because you'll be asking somebody to supply you material from here to here that that might have a lot of uh, freight costs and other things and then you will be supplying things from here to here so you have to choose a location which is feasible for you in terms of raw material and in terms of the production sites so location is also very important in terms of all the things like warehousing like stores and like your manufacturing plants and location is also important if you for example go towards uh, the tax free zones because different countries give spaces which are tax free in which if you produce something because you are establishing establishing your industry there if you produce something you will not be asked uh, by the government to give taxes for a certain amount of time so this is the third driver and then obviously the transportation is the main driver of your supply chain how things move from one place to the other place so if you have a good transportation system which means the vehicles the drivers and all other things how and when to move products so how have you developed your transportation system your fleet of trucks when and what kind of trucks will be moving towards which sides and what kind of transportation system are you using for example when does your truck leave and when does it come back and from which area to which area uh, how much time should it take and when should it come back how you should fill it so all these things are also included in the transportation system so in short if you talk about the drivers of supply chain uh, these are the production the inventory the location the transportation and obviously the information and again information is central because for all of these four other drivers you need information to decide what to do and what not to do so these are the basic drivers of supply chain management